tell Jesus that the bitch is back? I was in a two on two on the uptown and you know what's up or don't you? Hi everyone, welcome welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing really well. So this is my cash stuff in for week two of September, I think. So let's see what we've got left over this week. I actually spent some of my spending money, so we've got five pounds left. Um, food, fun, personal health, I'm going to roll over, and miscellaneous, we've got £5 left. And I've actually got some change this week, so we can do the penny savings challenge, 50p, and a £2 coin. So let me just pop that to the side for a second. Um, so yeah, we've got £10 and £2.50. So let's go straight into the challenge binder. Um, I've sorted my challenges around as well. <laughs> I feel like I just keep changing everything, but I just want to find something that really, really works for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a five in here. So this challenge is just going to be like redistributed into my savings, sinking funds, whatever. It will probably go into the first home fund. So I'm just going to stick a fiver in here. So we've got £10 in this one now. And this challenge is from the Budget Lux. And then, oh my god, I'm literally obsessed with this challenge. This is from Budget with Honey. Mary Pugmas. And it's, I don't know if you guys can see. I can't see what you guys can see. But it's so cute. So I'm going to stick a fiver in here. So we've got 15 in here. Let's mark off another little cute pug. Um, and this is just going to be like extras for Christmas sort of thing, like any maybe like stocking bits, days out. I've done it so it only saves £8, so it's not loads, but hopefully it'll be alright. Um, the £1 challenge from Cash for Cute, I'm going to stick the £2 coin in here. So that's good, we finished two rows of that. So, God, I don't know. I had to write on, I think this is all my pounds in it. Oh my god, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna have to like. <laughs> These tins are from Poundland, if you are wondering. So that's good. What have we got? For? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen pounds in there now. And then the penny savings challenge, we've just got 50p. I'm really trying to spend. Well, I'm not trying to spend, but if I'm gonna spend, I'm trying to do it in cash rather than online I'm trying to move away from that because i feel like it's so much easier just to like tap your card and like apple pay stuff do you know what i mean and this tin also from Thailand, stick 50p in there so that is all of that sorted so let's see what we are stuck in this week should be 200 pound every week so hopefully i've got the amounts right i love these weekly envelopes from lavelle So we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, which is brilliant. So yeah, I'm going to see how long this money can last me. So going back into the class, I'm actually doing something a little bit different. So I'm not going to go into <laughs> I've got heads or towels from Budget with Sean and roll with it from my main matters. Now I've just realised my coins are all in the tin, so I don't know, I have nothing to flip. <laughs> so I'm going to roll the dice. I don't know what I've done with it. What is it? Um, I'm going to roll the dice. Let's say heads is odd, even as towels. And then we'll just do that. And then I'll save from my spending money. What did I say? Heads is odds, even as towels, I think. So we're gonna save five pound from my spending money. So 10 pound going in my purse for this week's spending money. And then I'm gonna stick the five pounds to again in first time. That's annoying because the icons don't match up, but that's fine. So I will try and remember to stick that in there, <laughs> but we'll see. So we've got £10 spending money this week, which 
is amazing. Don't have any plans to spend it, but we'll see. It went on like, ice cream, the ice cream man come around, and I thought, why not? Probably won't be around for much longer. I literally cannot believe it's September. And um, miscellaneous is going to get a usual five pound. That is disgusting. Disgusting. So that is the purse all done for another week. So I shall put that to the side. Try and find somewhere to put it. Right. So let's get straight into the cash stuff in then. So my saving binder. I need to remember to put that five pounds in home. <laughs> So getting ahead is going to get £15 this week. I haven't checked my denominations. So they probably should have done that, but we'll see. So 10, each one is 10, but we put in an extra five last week. So I can colour in two of these, I think. Hopefully that's right. So we've got 1,000 in the bank and 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 110 is correct so 1110 I really don't know what my goal is for this because obviously like I still live at home so like this is from when I move out or like if I lose my job or whatever um kind of proven important because I have just quit my job without any backup plans or anything <laughs> um but yeah I don't know how much to save maybe like five grand um health is gonna get ten pounds so we can cut it in another one of these cute little lettuces. Lettuces? Is that? I don't know if that's the right word. But I love this challenge. <laughs> so we've got 500 in the bank and 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. 5, 70 in health. So yeah, I hope you're all having a really good week. It's weird filming these videos again after like so long off. Home, it's going to get 25 plus the five pounds. So, don't know if these denominations are right, but I'm going to just have to remember. Uh, pink. And the cute little dot in the middle. Did I put the money in? I think I did. <laughs> so we've got 5,000 in the bank and 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 105. So 5,105 pounds for home. This is basically going to be for like all like the big home bits. So like the move, I don't even know, like moving fees, solicitors fees. I don't really know. I need to like look into it properly. Um. Yeah, originally we said we wanted to move out in... 2026 so we was gonna have everything done by the end of next year i just don't know like i don't want to put too much pressure on it if that makes sense like it's an expensive time all the houses around like where we live are expensive like ugh, it's just annoying because i like i don't want to move far from my family but i basically live like just outside of london i guess um I'm obviously not going to say like where exactly, but yeah, like or just the houses are just like crazy expensive. Um, we can't spend over four twenty five, um, because we both have lifetime ICs. Not that we would be able to afford that mortgage anyway, but it, like we're gonna have to move far, I think, or we buy like a cheap house and it's gonna have to be like completely renovated. Um, so that's basically what this money is for for any like solicitors fees, and then like renovations like big purchases like a fridge freezer things like that but yeah i just feel really like stressed and overwhelmed with trying to save for it parents is getting 10 uh, what are each one of these five so i can cut it in two of these yeah i'm just feeling very like i don't know what to do i'm like i feel like i'm at that stage in my life but like i don't know what i want to do i like I don't know like it sounds a bit cringe but like, i feel like i'm still trying to like find myself sort of thing like i said just got my job got no sort of backup plans no idea what i want to do with my life um i want to move out but then i'm like oh, i want to go traveling and like i can't afford to do both we've got 1020 30 40 50 in parents like 
yeah sorry i just kept saying like <laughs> um but yeah like, i just don't feel like i can afford to do both like in the next few years like the two of the most expensive things that you can do and i don't know like i know i've said this before on my channel a few months ago and everyone was like go traveling like the house can wait like people that have bought a house and not been traveling was like yeah like they regret it sort of thing but like i just feel like that would set me back so much financially like everything will probably have to be completely wiped out and then obviously when i go back i'd probably have to start again like fresh but then i'm like if i buy a house first and then I, i'm like oh i still want to go traveling I, like i feel like i can't really do that when i've got a house if that makes sense because obviously like, i've got bills to pay i feel like i'm gonna do it i need to do it before i buy a house i feel like that's a sensible thing to do but i also just want to move out so I really don't know, basically. Um, but anyway, annuals is going to get ten pounds. We've got one hundred and twenty thirty-five. Um, I did it quite so. My holiday insurance we had booked with Admiral, I think, last year, and me and my partner we did like a couples one, and it worked out. I think about like sixty pounds each, which I thought was pretty reasonable for like a year's travel. Um, there was all sorts of like activities added on to it and then I've recently been diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome so we were like oh we'll try and like amend the policy thing so like everything's covered just in case like we go away and then something happens and they wanted an extra like few hundred pounds for it like and we had to pay that but I think the um I think the policy runs out in November because we bought it for New York last year but we didn't end up going um but i'm just like what like that's actually great so we're just gonna wait until we need to like renew it and then we'll look somewhere else but i thought like a few hundred pounds i think it was maybe two or three hundred just for that one like illness to go on and i was like what um groceries i'm gonna get five i think i'm actually gonna swap that for a ten this is just like a buffer i've got food um got food i've got a food wallet in there just in case it's got 200 that's all right for now transport is not getting anything I've got 50 70 80 90 95 100 in here um so yeah because of all like the illness and stuff at the minute i can't do like my driving lessons again which is really annoying because i've literally i started driving lessons when i was 17 i'm 23 now and i've been doing them on and off for like well i suppose five years and ugh, the amount of money that I've wasted if I'm never allowed to drive again, I'm gonna be feeling. <laughs> um, wellness is getting 10. So we've got 50 in the bank, but 65. Um, my mum did do a Holland and Barrett order for like everyone. We all take like vitamins and stuff. So I think I need to give her some money from that. Gifting is gonna get five. So we've got 250 in the bank, 270, 290, 315. I know that seems like an excessive amount to having gift in, but it's like, I feel like that is my like love language, <laughs> like just buying presents, like birthdays, Christmas, like all sorts of events. I need to, I need to learn to cut down because yeah, it's getting a bit out left. Home is going to get five. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So this envelope is going to be like, whilst I live at home sort of thing, so like, I do need to get a new duvet cover, so that I'll probably pull from here. But also, if we want to buy any like home bits for like our house when we move out, it'll probably be like from the same envelopes. We found a really nice doormat that we both wanted yesterday, so I don't know. I don't know if it's silly to order if we're not going to move for like another year, two years, whatever. But we'll see. Um, miscellaneous. I'm just going to chuck five pounds in here. And occasions is going to get 20. I really need, really need to build this up. So we've got 1,000 and 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So this is for my friend's wedding next year, next September. It's almost a whole year away, which is just insane. I feel like I've been saving for this forever. The wedding's abroad and I'm a bridesmaid, so it's going to be expensive. And subscriptions is fully funded with 80. So that is my sinking funds binder all done. My favourite binder. My binder. <laughs> Obviously. I feel like it's like really dark in here. Um so 
personal personal does that say personal beauty thing is gonna get skipped clothes is gonna get skipped holidays is gonna get 20. i feel like i'm running out of money aren't we all so we've got 1500 in the bank in 20 40 50 60 70 75 1,575. I really need to go away. <laughs> like, so bad. Um, memories is going to get skipped. Personal is going to get 10. Um, fives. This is for things like deodorant, dry shampoo, hairspray. All of that jazz. Social is going to get 5. So we've got 50, 70, 75, 80. I really don't want to spend this. It's so weird having like an envelope for social. I literally always just used to give myself like £200 a month, which is quite a lot actually just to like spend on going out, I guess. Um, And that was just kept in the bank and that was spent on anything like and everything. Is that saying everything and anything? Anything? I don't know. <laughs> um, But yeah, I'm going to try and do it this way. Hopefully it works. A lot of places near me don't actually take cash, which is kind of annoying. Um, but we'll see what we can get away with, I guess. Spending is going to get five. This is sort of for like those like impulse buys sort of thing. Not like expensive buys, but like if I'm out and about and I see something that like I really like, but like I'm not planning on saving for it in the wishlist category, that will come here. But there's probably not going to be that much money in here. Um, takeaways is going to get skipped and wish list is going to get £10. I have been saying this for months and months on my channel, um, but I think it's time to buy new AirPods, like I really need them now. I feel like I've been saying it for like, oh my god, like six months and they keep disconnecting, they're not like charging properly, they literally don't last as long as they used to. But I think they're like £140, the one that I have, which oh, is annoying. And I'm thinking, should I just go back to like the like wired ones? But we'll see. Um, so we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Is that right? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 in a wish list. I also just treated myself to this bracelet. And I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and I'm actually necklace for leaving my job. <laughs> it's something that i thought about for ages it was like a massive thing for me to do and they're like a four leaf clover so i feel like it's going to be like protection or something i don't know <laughs> um and annuals are going to go straight to new year's eve and that should be in the last 10. so let's colour in another two of these i really have no idea how much to save for new year's maybe like 50 like i don't drink alcohol or like anything like that i'm not like booty enough to go and eat somewhere like nice and expensive so i don't know but we've got 10 20 30 40 45 so maybe another five to go in here and then i can focus on the next one valentine's day maybe we'll do that i think and yeah, that is all the money gone for another week. I feel like that was really weird doing challenges first. I don't know, I might move back to do that right at the end of the video. And I do really want to start this 1K challenge from Van Budgets, but the funds are not funding right now, so we shall see. But yeah, thanks for watching another video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like my content. And I'll see you soon with another video. Thanks for watching, guys.